hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we will uh, resume our discussion uh, related to uh, basic network theorems and so far uh, in the previous uh, videos related to it we discussed about maximum power transfer theorem but all the questions which we discussed were related to circuits without any dependent sources only consisting of independent voltage or current sources so in the next series of questions will be focusing on circuits involving dependent sources okay so this is the first question uh, and uh, this is uh, the whole circuit which we have and the important thing to focus here is the dependent voltage source which is a voltage dependent voltage source okay 3vx which is dependent on this voltage drop across this 60 ohm resistor okay so we have been asked to find the value of this load resistance such that maximum power will be transferred to the load and the value of that maximum power okay so we'll do that so first we have to go with the thevenin equivalent circuit approach we have to find the thevenin voltage first so for that we have to redraw the whole circuit again So we will open circuit this RL, this is 120 ohm, 30 ohm, this is 3 VX, 60, 60 ohm, this is VX and this is 9 volt. Okay, so we have to find this open circuit voltage VTH. So for that what we can do is let us assume that the current flowing through this closed loop is I. We will apply KVL here in this closed loop. So when we apply that we will get the value of this I. Okay. Now an important relationship to establish here is that this voltage drop across this 60 ohm resistor is Vx is equal to 60I that is very important to know because this is an important relationship okay so now when we apply KVL in this closed loop we get 9 minus 60i which is vx okay minus 30i the same current flows through here because 0 ampere current flows here is open circuited so the same current i flows here also so minus 30i minus 3 vx so instead of vx we can write 60i here okay so that will bring the whole equation in terms of i so 3 vx here so instead of vx we will write 60i is equal to 0 that implies 9 minus 60i minus 30i minus 180i is equal to 0 that implies 9 minus 270i is equal to 0 that implies i is equal to 9 by 270 ampere okay which is equal to 1 by 30 ampere 
okay so we have got i is equal to 1 by 30 ampere now we have to determine vth so we can get the value of vth by applying kvl in this outer loop this part here so for that we will apply uh, kvl like this okay in this direction so we will get vth okay vth this is zero because no current is flowing through this 120 ohm resistor so the voltage drop here will be zero and here the polarity is like this okay so vth minus 30i minus 3vx is equal to zero so vx is equal to again 60i that implies vth minus 30i minus 180i is equal to zero that implies vth is equal to 210i which is equal to 210 we'll put the value of i here which is 1 by 30 so this is 7 vth is equal to 7 volt let us write it down here vth is equal to 7 volt so the first part is over now we have to determine rth the thevenin resistance so we have determined the value of vth for this circuit 7 volt now we have to determine rth so for that again we have to redraw the circuit deactivating all the independent sources so here we have only this 9 volt independent voltage source so we'll short circuit it so the circuit it will look something like this 60 ohm this is 3 vx this is 30 ohm this is 120 ohm and we have to use another external excitation voltage or current so here we'll be using an external excitation voltage uh, 1 volt okay because we are deactivating all the independent uh, sources 1 volt we are using and let the current flowing from this 1 volt be I0 so RTH will be basically important relationship 1 volt by I0 ampere this much ohm this is the important relationship okay so this is uh, another important thing this is vx okay so here we have to uh, make some important uh, observations here if you can notice it this voltage here here this node voltage this is equal to minus Vx. Why? Because here it has been mentioned in the question that this voltage drop across the 60 ohm resistor is minus this this Vx with this polarity plus and minus. So because this 9 volt voltage source uh, voltage source is short circuited here, this entire voltage drop it appears as this node minus Vx. So if you want to just understand it in a better way we can redraw the circuit this whole circuit like this okay this is 60 so this is the node voltage now here we can apply 
KCN. Okay, we can apply KCN and uh, let the current direction so we assign it as this this uh, flowing current then again current in this direction downward and this I0 is flowing towards the node so if we apply KCL here we will get minus Vx by 60 this current this is ground ok then plus minus Vx minus 3 Vx by 30 this this potential minus this potential divided by the resistance involved is equal to 1 minus minus Vx which is equal to plus Vx 1 minus minus Vx which we can replace it as simply 1 plus Vx by 120 okay this is the KCL equation again we can simplify it minus Vx by 60 minus 4, 4 Vx by 30 will bring the Vx by 20 this side minus Vx by 120 is equal to 1 by 120 okay so here that implies uh, taking 120 at the LCM so this is minus 2 Vx then minus 16 Vx okay then minus Vx is equal to 1 by 120 so this gets cancelled that implies minus 19 Vx is equal to 1 that implies Vx is equal to minus 1 by 19 okay Vx is equal to minus 1 by 19 volt now we have got this much Vx is equal to minus 1 by 19 volt okay so let us erase all of these things Now, this current I0, the value of this current I0 is equal to 1 minus minus Vx which is equal to 1 plus Vx by 120 ohm. Okay, 1 plus Vx by 120 ohm. So, it is 1 plus minus 1 by 19 by 120 which is basically 1 minus 1 by 19 by 120 okay so which is equal to 18 by 19 by 120 now let us calculate so I0 is equal to 18 by 19 into 1 by 120 but RTH here is 1 volt by I0 so RTH will be simply the reciprocal of it which is 120 into 19 by 18 which is equal to if we calculate it is 120 into 19 divided by 18 which is equal to 126.67 ohm so RTH is equal to 126.67 ohm so the maximum power transfer theorem it says that for maximum power transfer the load resistance should be equal to the Thevenin resistance so here for maximum power transfer RL should be equal to RTH which is equal to 126.67 ohm 
and the value of PRL max is equal to VTH square by 4TH which is equal to 7 square by 4 into 126.67 which is equal to 7 square into the 26.67 into 4 which is equal to 0 0.096707 watts or we can write it as 96.71 milliwatt okay PRL max okay so this is PRL max okay